Welcome back to Kim Folk Farm, guys. We're down here with the pigs. <laughs> Giving them some tomatoes and squash and strawberries we got from the fruit stand. Stick around, uh, we're fishing to plant some watermelons. Let them girls go. <laughs> well, I'll show y'all what we plan on planting. It's just a, a giant array of stuff. I got a ton of watermelons I want to grow. Uh, I'm going to see what all I can squeeze in here. I want to show y'all how we're doing this, this watermelon garden, first of all. We went in here and put in the weed barrier fabric. And what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to burn holes all the way down that fabric by using this thing I rigged up. It's just a, a can. We're going to put charcoal in this. Get the can hot and burn holes. Hopefully this works. <laughs> we, I, I can't take credit for this. We've seen this on Living Tradition, Living Tradition Homestead. Those guys have the best garden. I'm so jealous. Every year they have such a great garden. And uh, last year they did this weed barrier fabric and they're doing it again this year. So, heck, I'm, I'm just following their pattern. We're going to burn some holes in here and see how many watermelons we can grow out of this garden. Stick around. Let's see what we can get into. Well guys, I have to say that was not fun. I didn't video that, uh, just for the simple fact I was trying to hurry and get this done. It is a ton of holes and sitting on this black tarp, oh my gosh, I need a headlamp and start doing this at night. Uh, <laughs> it's like one giant solar panel. It was roasting hot, but finally I'm getting in some shade. But. I wanted to say I don't recommend doing this, but I think it's going to work out good. I do recommend doing it. I think it's actually going to work out really good to actually keep these weed uh, beat back. Once these melons get up and on top of this tarp or on top of this uh, weed barrier fabric, it's going to work out great. But that was a lot of work. Carrying around that hot uh, thing of fire in that hot can. Oh, my gosh. Sitting on top of this black. Like I say, I hope we don't have to do this one time. That was ridiculous. He loved it. <laughs> okay. Next thing we want to do is we want to figure out what watermelons to plant. And I would go through here and talk about all the ones we got, but oh my gosh, I guess got tons of them. But I'm going to plant some red ones and some yellow ones. I got some that I really want to plant. And then uh, I got some that's just, I can't find it right now, but there's one in here that's just a giant. They grow 100 pound melons. I can't remember where they're at, but they were super cool. Yeah, here it is. The Carolina Cross 180. These are going to be a good one. These are going to be the first ones we put in. I'm going to make those my first row. But we're going to write down, we're going to keep a list too of where we put them. We don't have tags to put on the ground, so I'm just going to uh, we keep a notepad. And I'm going to write down every row. That way I can keep up with what watermelons are what. But let me get started on this. Maybe I can get, uh, get these done before the sun goes down, hopefully. Got a little audience over here. These guys are fat and happy. They're full of cantaloupe and tomatoes. What? Oh, he's found him a toy in my truck, in the back of my truck. Hey, you big hitler, mommy. All right, guys, I want to show y'all what I'm getting in these little holes with uh, to plant these watermelon seeds. <laughs> this is the Cobra Head Mini Weeder and Cultivator. We bought this at the uh, Mother Earth News Fair. I've seen this thing. 
they had one that was a little bit smaller and bigger and bigger. And they had one on a long stick where you could where you didn't have to stand uh, get down. You know, it, it was really neat. But the cobra head, look it up. The cobra head, mini weeder, and cultivator. Just a great little tool. This thing just digs. I'll show you guys how well this thing works. This thing works great, guys. It just gets down in there and it just absolutely just tears all this soil up. It just loosens it up from being sit, from sitting underneath this weed uh, barrier fabric all that time. But this is just an excellent little tool, and this isn't a commercial. I just thought it was, I didn't buy hardly anything at the Mother Earth newspaper, but this is one thing I did buy, and I bought it just for this in particular. Well, you gonna watch out. <laughs> uh, you gonna run over the chicken. All right. Well, I'm about wore out. <laughs> you can keep going. <laughs> We're gonna go get some eggs. We just got through eating supper. The, I got a little over a quarter of the watermelons planted. I'm gonna go water them in a minute. We have to go eat dinner. If we ain't in at six o'clock, we don't eat dinner. That's that's what my wife's rule. We eat dinner at six o'clock, and that's it. So uh, we just ate. We got Mason's got to take a bath, so I got to make sure he gets to do his job. So we're down here getting the eggs. I'm going to water what I planted, and I guess finish this up tomorrow. I will keep all you guys posted and let y'all know and, and keep doing videos on how they're doing. A man, across your fingers, I sure hope they grow. Uh, I think they will be uh, just fine. I think they'll be fine. Guys, I really appreciate y'all watching our video. Uh, do me a favor. If you're not a subscriber, let's be one. Hey, hit that subscribe button. Right, Mace? Huh? Tell them, say, we're going to see y'all on the next video. On the next video, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> y'all be good. <laughs> Where are you going? You got a bunch? <laughs> Just keep getting them. You ain't got to stand, Cal. <laughs>